hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who don't know me my name is naninga welcome to this channel feel at home we love makeup we love fashion and we love skincare so basically i'm starting off with skin prepping my skin using hyaluronic acid and i'm just applying it all over my face and my neck and then we're going to go in with my maybelline fit me primer and this is the luminous primer and i'm just going to apply it all over my face concentrating on my t-zone where it usually gets a little bit too oily and it just gives the skin a really nice healthy glow as you guys can see and then as usual face okay basically eyebrows do sculpt the face they do create the outline of the face so never miss to do your eyebrows so i'm going in with just a black pencil an ordinary black pencil and nowadays i fill in my brows fast so i'm just filling in my brows i'm not going to draw any outline and then i'm going to go in with my rimmel um eyebrow mascara and it's, it's just a clear eyebrow mascara so i'm just applying it all over my eyebrows making sure that they're nice and facing upwards because that's what we like nowadays and then we are going to go in with my usual concealer that i normally use to define my brows which is the la girl pro conceal concealer and i usually use the shade fawn i think i could do with a lighter a darker shade slightly darker shade but anyway moving on we are going to also uh, use a co another concealer as our eyeshadow primer and I'm just using the Rimmel Kind and Free Concealer and this is the shade Tan I believe and then we after that we are just going direct to our eyeshadow and I'm just using this purplish dark purple eyeshadow and then I'm gonna go in with an ordinary purple eyeshadow and just blend that out and I've just applied these purple eyeshadows in the outer corner of my eye as you guys can see and then after that we're gonna blend in using a pink eyeshadow a very neon pink eyeshadow is what we are going to use to blend that entire thing out and then now we're going to cut our crease now this year i'm all about cut creases i mean cut creases some people say are so 2016 but i just feel like we need to ex express ourselves i think 2015 that that was the time makeup was makeup because i don't understand what the clean girl look is how is that supposed to make you express yourself as an artist i don't know maybe it's an aesthetic that you can go about your day-to-day -day activities in but i feel like it doesn't really you know bring out any creativity if you're like a makeup artist or something anyway moving on we are going to apply all of our cut crease we are going to apply this neon pink eyeshadow this eyeshadow look would have been perfect for the 10 days of valentine's makeup but at that time i was juggling so many things i was juggling work i was juggling you know family everything so my creativity was kind of maxed out at that point at least right now i'm relaxing a bit in between days so my creativity is back so i've just done a winged eyeliner uh because i feel like a cut crease really suits a winged eyeliner and i've also just cleaned that area that had excess eyeshadow and then now we're going to do our, our foundation and it's been so long since i used the maybelline F a super stay foundations uh, so I've, I'm using the one that I have which is the coconut. It's really cool toned But it's still I can still get away with it slightly. So that's the shade coconut And then now I'm going to go in again with the Rimmel kind and free Concealer and I'm just going to use it to highlight the areas that I've basically Highlighted as you can see my under eyes just to brighten up the area and also the, the bridge of my nose and also any shadows that i have around my mouth that's where i apply the concealer just to remove any darkness and shadows and then we are going to go in with a brush first as i love to do i always go in with a brush first and then after going in with the brush i just even everything out using a beauty blender and that's what i'm doing right now i'm just evening it out with a beauty blender you don't have to use a new beauty blender all the time for every step you can just use your one beauty blender for your entire look to apply foundation and also at the same time to apply your concealer next we are going to pat in uh some what is it called some setting powder yes and the reason this setting powder kind of looks dark is because i feel like 
um, that the, the concealer that I was using to brighten up was too, too bright. So I just want to tone it down a little bit. And I'm just using the Maybelline uh, Fit Me. As you can see, it's really toned down that bright concealer. And, you know, made my face a little bit more even. And it's just so smoothening. So that was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Nini uh, Setting Powder. And that was the shade Cappuccino. And now I'm just going to take a uh, black pencil. I love lining my lips with black pencil. As I said, avoid black pencil if you're not ready to blend because you'll have to blend like for 10 full minutes. So as you can see, I'm just blending the pencil out fast. And then I'm going to go in with lipstick. And for lipstick, I'm using a Revlon lipstick. This, this color looks really kind of old school, but I'm going to blend it out and it's just going to produce a beautiful, beautiful shade of pink. It's been long since I did some matchy, matchy stuff. And this is what I'm going for. Looks The makeup look generally looks kind of 2014, 2015-ish, but I still feel like it's beautiful. And then I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Sensational Lipstick and I'm just going to tap it you know on my lips again and i think i applied two to three coats of lipstick before i got my desired sheet that's why i was saying avoid a black pencil if you're not ready to blend and then after that we're going to go in with our lifter gloss just to gloss up all the lips because you know it's 2023 what's lipstick without gloss you know everyone is glossing up their lips yeah so that's the only 23 23 thing i'm gonna maintain with this makeup look i'm going to gloss up my lips and i'm going to make sure that they're super super juicy and glossy because that is so 2023 anyway basically the lips don't look as bright as 2016 but they they're still bright they're still bright and then after that i believe i'll have to do a little bit of blush because seriously it's about time so but first before i do the blush of course i have to remove any excess powder because i did apply a lot of setting powder just to set my under eyes and stuff so all that time when i was doing my lips my under eyes were setting and also my like face generally was setting so i'm done i'm done gonna go in with blush and i'm going to use this blush that i got off the boohoo website it's super sheer so i i, I i'm not a fan of super sheer blush right now but we are going to powder the rest of our face using like my black opal setting powder and then i'm gonna go in again with some extra powder blush and then i believe that we are almost through with this look because what more do we require except highlighter we have to glow so basically i'm applying highlighter my usual nyx highlighter this is the high glass i normally call it our glass sometimes because i just get confused because then the name is high glass uh-huh so yeah that's basically the final look i love it so much it's so bright it's so me and it's just fun i love fun things things that make you happy you know sometimes we've become too boring and serious in this world we should not take that to make up we need to do fun looks guys anyway thank you so much guys for watching uh don't forget to subscribe how can i forget to mention that make sure you subscribe to this channel for more of these looks and more of these tutorials and i'll see you in my next video bye